Sidechaining was introduced in version 10 of Samplitude. It can be achieved by using a source track, usually something like a kick drum, to control a compressor or gate on the target track. In order to use sidechaining, you need to have a VST plugin which has sidechaining implemented, or you can use the native Samplitude plugins like Ammunition or the Advanced Dynamics. The following tutorial will show you how to set up sidechaining with a few basic examples of what can be achieved. To demonstrate sidechaining, I'm going to use a four on the floor kick drum as the source track. Currently in version 10, it's important that the source track is above the target track. This will ensure that the source tracks appear in the sidechain menu. For this example, I'm going to use pad one with ammunition inserted in the plugin slot. So I'm going to left click here where it says sidechain input and select sidechain in. You'll notice I have a selection of three sidechain source tracks. I'm going to select kick number one in the menu. Now if I select the kick track you'll notice an auxiliary send to pad one has automatically been created. This is the send to the sidechain of the ammunition compressor. The next thing to do is to wind back the source to external and then set the level to around 3 o'clock, should be suitable. Now, if I unsolo the kick, you'll hear the pad just for a second and then I click on SC1, that's the sidechain one, and you'll hear just the kick drum which is coming through the sidechain and I can now adjust the level of the kick drum using the pad 1 auxiliary send. So there's the kick drum arriving via the sidechain, you can see the level there. The next thing to do is to enable the optical compressor. You can hear the level drop a bit as it kicks in and also it's starting to pulsate in time with the bass drum. I'm going to set the response time to fast and increase the slope a bit. I should do for now. And now gradually decrease the threshold. I'll bring up the output to compensate a bit. So now you can hear pad one is pulsating rhythmically with the kick drum. So as I decrease the auxiliary send to pad one, you'll notice the pad goes back to its original smooth sound because the kick drum is no longer being added. And as I increase it, it starts to affect the compressor by the side chain input. There you go. It's worth noting when you have the optical compressor on, it will tend to affect the sound of the side chain kick. So you may want to disable that if you want to hear the original level. There's also a high pass and low pass filter, so you can tailor the response of the side chain source signal. This would be particularly useful if you had something like a stereo drum loop and you wanted to filter out the top end and focus in on the kick drum for the sidechain trigger. Because the ammunition uses something called feedback compression, this tends to result in a smoother sound with a more natural attack and decay. So that's ammunition using sidechain on pad 1. For this next part I've inserted an advanced dynamics plugin which is a compressor limiter gate plugin which comes native with Samplitude and I'm going to use this on pad 2 using the same principle as pad 1 but this time we need to go to the bottom right of the plugin where it says sidechain 
and select sidechain in you'll notice it's turned blue now it's active so I'm going to select kick as the trigger source again now you can see a new send has automatically been created for pad 2 if you want to hear the sidechain kick you need to go to sidechain menu and sidechain solo that will isolate the sidechain but this time you can also open up a filter from the list which opens the stock samplitude parametric equalizer and you can do some filter shaping go back to sidechain menu and unsolo the sidechain solo do a bit of tweaking here adjust the gate you can hear it kicking in now if you find you're getting a bit of zipper noise or crackling it's worth checking you haven't got look ahead enabled change the reaction to peak adjusting the knee gives it a smoother response Bring in pad one with the ammunition. That's the ammunition by itself. More of a pulsating sound. Pad two soloed. Advanced Dynamics so you can tweak until your heart's content so that's the Advanced Dynamics on Pad 2 one thing worth noting if you select Filter from the Sidechain menu and make a few changes when you return to the Sidechain menu you'll see Sidechain Filter is ticked that's because the EQ curves are active if you reset the EQ and then go back to the menu, you'll see it's unticked. So that means the EQ is no longer active within the side chain. I just want to demonstrate exactly how the kick drum affects the pad or the side chain target track. Open the mixer and drag and drop the advanced dynamics over to the saw bass track. Right click to open up the plugin and quickly select a kick you can immediately hear the effect double click on the kick object to open up the drum editor use the pencil tool to add some more kicks now you can hear the triggering effect on the saw base pad via the side chain input the more notes I add the more syncopated the sound becomes. Add a few more. Left clicking inserts the note and right clicking deletes the note. I'm sure you get the idea.